thrown out there. There's a ton of lane. It's like they want to try and fresh or at least some damage. Do we see a rotation coming in uh, the side? Yeah, should see a defensive hit. Three heroes already down bottom. Already down the crush. Oh, able to get dodged there by the snowball. And the I don't, secondary shit as well. First blood is going to be drawn. Highlight that bench and the initiation Ooh. of the act is something to be How oh, can he do that other time? No, it's not going to happen. They find the kill. Puppy? Okay, maybe he's going back and it did spot him out. Yeah, Puppy will walk into him. Oh, they end up jumping into him there. The silence comes out as well. Puppy does manage to get the snowball off. We'll see if this ends up translating into a kill. They do end up getting him. Yeah. He's just using this armor to keep farming, looking for his death zone. Barazzi in trouble. The jump call. It's going to connect. And they get there in time. Bubble silence comes up. He's going to be able to turn onto this if they want to rotate some more here. And they catch the fire. stun. Pull him back as well. Troll finds a kill. Great combo. Almost entirely physical damage coming out. Dogfights manages to get the I'll jump away and is gonna be able to walk out center range. They place another one though and still getting a lot of heals here, dogfights. Trying to keep you away. Very ambitious and is not going to get it. They find the kill. It's gonna be looking to, to fight with that and then, then the burst damage gets ridiculous. Oh, they do get the jump in on the troll, but it is to get off the axes first. Still mid one in a lot of trouble there. They get the snowball save in the shrine. Not gonna be enough to keep him alive. Always punch. Turns now onto paparazzi, the follow-up crush, and looks like the rest of IGB are just gonna try and back out of here. Maybe they continue to take the fight. They're very grouped up to jump forward. Sakta is gonna be able to get a couple hits off, but needs to back out here before he ends up dropping. So Swat Ooh, MP. He was mid oh my god. <laughs> Uh, oh, they get the call. Kezu got him. This is a trouble now, and he ends up going down as well. Uh, IGB, this is feeling like a very strange fight to take, but they're going to go in for the crush. They pull back in one. Is it going to be enough? Kezu is going to drop. Still, it's just a very awkward place to fight here. Got such good vision on the high ground with this ward. They're going to keep looking to fight. All right. Light right crits coming through. MP, they get the crush as well. Grave is there. And they keep him alive. Storm can jump in. They are going to be able to find him. Nicely played. Akita out again. A little bit of a problem there. Well, the jump in, the crush. They're able to catch him. The counterplay is going to come out as well. And stunned up paparazzi just has to back out for the moment and swap back, back in. in. He's in a lot of trouble. Super gonna try and save him. There's just no way at all, though. Dogfight throws down the silence onto several. Sakita there as well. The ulti comes out and looks like they're going to be able to pull back in the Slardar as well. They take down another. Puppy ends up dying. In July, able to get the crush. And that will secure his escape. Dogfights will fall, though. With Weave up as well. They're going to start hitting this tier 3 tower. Well, jump, able to get the crush. The snowball save, though, turning it right back around. They get the global out, and Sakata jumping in as well. They've already taken down Keizu. A nice start to this fight for them. Going to pull back in another. Can they convert onto this? Looking like it's going to happen. Grave comes on to Pylidai in July. Gets a dash as well. They are able to take down Fogs, though, and looks like Super's going to go down as well. A double kill for Sakata, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Great one. Take down Grave, but didn't end up seeing him since the, everyone else was silenced after it, but... Alan, and now on Snowball, pulling him back in. Stun on the storm, and he's going to end up dropping. Killing spree, the swap back in as well. Caught Paparazzi, this life stealer, and they bring him down as well. All those stuns have already been used. In July tries to get a stun out as well, just to create a little bit of space so the life stealer can back out and away. Storm Spirit jumps back in, trying to take down one. He's going to be able to find a kill there, and maybe a bit more. It does look like, at least for now, Secret is overextended and will be punished for it. It does seem like with the buyback and the low respawn on the storm, they'll get a key couple of kills here. That, I mean, I feel like they're the stronger team. Oh no, and just walks into a sentry ward. You, you gotta do this with Ricky. Make moves around the map to try and open up a little bit of space for your team. Now they jump in, able to find the life stealer yet again in July. Gets the follow up stun there to break away the combo That's from so the good. Venge. And does look like they're going to be able to back out at least for the moment. Now in a lot of trouble, they're gonna bring down in July. Paparazzi also in trouble, they're able to control them as well with the shards and with the ulti already out. This is a huge problem right now and just looking like Secret are well on their way to securing this first game. Not a tough player. <laughs> Lord kick, why not? Yeah. Another save or something, I'm... He just wants to boot him around. It's kind of weaved up. Now this is, this is feeling quite rough, and well, they are going to jump immediately. It's a nice swap away as well as the Graves. They're not going to have two of their saves, at least for the moment. And DKB Troll, they're right on top of them. Sakata trying to pull down and see if he can kill off MP2, but it's just not going to happen. He's far too tanky. Two already dead for IGV in secret. Just going to storm the high ground here. No regard for IGV's life. And good game all play done comes out. It's over. Well, 
Uh, well executed draft uh, I like their approach as far as having the, the last control wall really brought everything together. Made the Venge a lot stronger. Running the Venge as a core against that kind of, I mean, against the side of Life Shield Viewer, I think is a just good kind of core here to have. You're not going for something too squishy, you're going for something early mid-game oriented. Right. They had a really good laning stage. I think Secret had a very good, like, overall strategy and... Against the, the Bat Rider, the Lone Druid. But it was thrown out in the mid game as Pali Die tries to go for a couple of uh, camp takes there, but it does look like, at least for the moment, the Sand King, he took a lot of damage there from all of those spirits. They're going to pull back in as well. Puppy there with the right clicks in July turns to try and find a, at least some way out, but no. 22 and 10 compared to the 14 and 3. Very rough so far for the Ember Spear. He's going to throw out the chains and. Well, they're moving mid with the supports. Oh my god, he might just be able to find the kill regardless. They rotate in, no chance for an escape. And now, oh, Puppy thought about it for a minute. They're actually going to go for it. Dazzle going to end up... It's a point in every single skill. You want to point an overcharge to, you, to be able to get the shared bottle regen so you can take damage and... Oh, they're going for the Korea Pie. Oh my god, Pie wants it so bad. Oh, they just decide to turn over there. Paparazzi taking too much damage. Isn't even going to kill off Pie. Just at least for the moment, the Firestorms. That will dissuade the OD from going any further. And in the top lane, they root up the Sand King. He can't get out of this one. Burrow Strike not going to be in time. He is going to end up getting chased down. And that's a kill. Impressive stuff for him. Yep. Decent stats. But more importantly, uh, Ember got all that damage up. Ember? Yeah. What? All right. Didn't see to, to be sure on that. May have just been a misplay. Relocate top. top. They're going to be going after him. Sand King wants his Blink Dagger so desperately and is just going to be going to be having like a hood soon. It looks like he's going to be cube one up. So there's going to be magic resist, but you've got to fight around those items. Oh, and losing super here would be pretty unfortunate. Looks like they actually want to try and turn onto this one. Weave is down onto a couple as well. They're going to jump forward there. Oh, that's not going to be a bit of a problem. Ember Spirit ends up dropping. They turn now, trying to take down the Underlord. He's going to die as well. And when you've got a, a, a safe lane carry that doesn't need help, well, log five. Yeah, yeah. There, there's the same eclipse. And, and down bottom. This mm. is going to be supported by a relocated thing. Yeah, they jump in there. It's going to... Well, wait for it, at least for the moment. They jump out, they are be able to catch on to Injulai. He's gonna die once he comes out of the grave. Super now slowed down as well. Veil on top of them. Wicked six streak, a double kill, mid one, no mercy. Uh, one entangles all it's gonna take. Oh God, this is so frightening. Paparazzi just wants to run away, wants to go back home and well, not the first hit route at the very least. Frame break gonna push him back. They haven't gotten any roots here, but honestly it doesn't even matter. Yep. Take down the shrine and move across the map to the other side to relocate in. Paparazzi is going to pop that BKB, but they actually relocated in with the Batrider to make sure they could take him down. Really good decision making there, and Paparazzi is going to die. Yeah, that's not what you want to see, Luna. Going down. Definitely the kind of form you...